Okay, how to beat Karara Hypostasis. So, we're going to be using Amber for the majority of the fight because she is a Pyro Archer. She's the only Pyro Archer as of 1.5, right? So, as you can see here, I've I have a couple of 5-star artifacts. So don't worry too much. All of this is just to make sure you don't spend super, super long watching me fight the boss. It doesn't make the boss fight easier or harder. It just makes it shorter, you know? So anyways... Uh, as you can see here, we're going to be using double Geo, double Pyro. Double Geo for the flat 15% damage bonus, and then also double Pyro for the flat 25% damage bonus just in general. Um, as you can see, nobody really has any gear on. This boss fight is a little bit on the more uh, technical side, but it's not too bad. Anyways, let's get into the fight. Alright, so we have Cryo Hypostasis here. It's a new boss as of 1.5. Uh, this boss is... it's a little bit more on the um, technical end of things in terms of execution um the main thing is you want to stay very far away because of that move okay so it'll just like do the little uh, rune thing behind it and it'll shoot homing projectiles okay it's like a ruin guard where um the further away you are from the projectiles the like less tracking they have so the name of the game here is pretty much just staying far away from the boss okay just stay very far away amber has more than enough range okay archers have more than enough range to deal with this um, that little floor spike thing is pretty much like the big, like, technical part of the fight where you have to understand how to dodge it. If you don't know how to dodge those, basically the game will try to put those little, like, icicle things that come out of the ground in front of where you're walking, right? So what you want to do is you want to pretend that you're walking in a different direction and then just kind of swerve it, right? So as you can see here, I'm just going in a little bit of circle. I see something directly underneath me and I dash in a safe direction. So... I'm not moving randomly, I'm moving in a very calculated manner. Anyways, there's this pinwheel move here that it'll just roll. This thing can go from anywhere between one to three times. I got one here, which is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and back off because I don't want to be too close. You never want to be too close to this boss fight because look, it'll do that range thing. And the tracking on that is immense, okay? And also the, like, the actual explosion range of those uh, icicles is huge as well. If you take one hit, you're probably going to eat the others. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and lower our heat here. You always want to pay attention to your heat at all times. That's why you'll see. Um, I'm just going to try and stick really hard to the thing. Let me eat some food just to, you know, give me some more stats here. Anyways, uh, pretty much a lot of this fight is just letting him do this, uh, this icicle move and going in for some damage. You can attack him while he's doing it. I don't really recommend it because you'll get hit. Nobody likes getting hit, right? Um, so we just wait for this thing. You can also attack him here as well, but again, I don't really recommend it because it'll just do the thing. So you just have to focus on dodging, okay? You have to really focus on dodging those things. You gotta break its ankles, you know? You gotta juke it. Um, is it gonna attack? Come on. Come on. All right, anyways, this is a good time to talk about Final Phase. So, Final Phase is a little bit daunting, but the key is that you don't want to use Amber for the Final Phase, okay? Because the thing is, right, it'll have this big shield, and it's going to look really uh, intimidating, right? It'll shoot up these little um, ice balls, right? So I'm going to swap over to Traveler, and you have to hit the ice balls with a charge attack, and it'll roll towards it, and then it'll attack the thing and lower the shield a lot, okay? It'll be healing this entire time, so you just have to be careful and you have to make sure that you're getting down the shield as fast as possible, otherwise you're going to be fighting the boss all over again, right? So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I missed it. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, charge attack here again, right? And then once the shield is down, you, you have a very, very large period of time where you can do a lot of damage, so I'm just going to go ahead and just DPS it down here. But basically, that final phase isn't too difficult at all, it's just a lot of understanding that you need to swap to a character with a fast attack. Anyways, easy. 